Hi friends, welcome back to this video tutorial on a JSF sample project. In the previous videos we saw how to configure Eclipse for a JSF framework, how to create a view based on a JSF template, and how to add to this view a table where to list our employees. Now we will see how to create a table in the database using JDBC, and we will see uh, the whole uh, JDBC API lifecycle. In particular, we want to create the employee table corresponding to uh, the employee class, so with fields corresponding to its properties. And uh, we are using uh, this database, a Derby database, as we saw uh, in the previous video, um, and we will create uh, the table in the app scheme. To do so, let's create a new uh, package where to store all the business objects of our application. Business object. And now a class uh, uh, with uh, the method uh, for the table creation. Okay, now let's uh, uh, copy and paste the code of this uh, uh, class. Let's import the uh, the package. We can see that the um, uh, these are uh, um, uh, method of the JGBC API, and we have to import Java dot SQL. Let's see the life cycle of a JDBC connection to a database. First of all, we uh, here we are uh, setting the parameter of the connection to the database, which are uh, the driver, the JDBC driver for the specific uh, database that we are using, uh, that is uh, uh, Apache Derby. Then uh, uh, the path of the database, in this case, uh, it's on uh, the file system of my computer. And uh, where is the, the um, here, here is the, the folder and the name of the database. The option uh, create to uh, means that uh, if, uh, if, uh, uh, in, if there's no database with that uh, name, it will be created by uh, JDBC. And then the uh, username and password that we are going to use to uh, access to database. The first step is the import of the JDBC API. We can also write java.sql.asterisk to import all. Then uh, we are uh, mm, registering the driver, the JDBC driver uh, for our database with this uh, uh, instruction class dot for name and the name of the JDBC driver class uh, passed as parameter. Uh, we remember that we load the driver uh, in the uh, pom.xml file of Maven uh, when we configured the project. Then we will use uh, a connection object here declared to create a connection to the database. Uh, uh, to do so, we use the get connection uh, method, uh, passing the connection uh, um, parameter that we defined before. 
then we are going to create a statement object declared here and uh, that is uh, an object uh, that allows us to execute uh, SQL queries on the connection to the database we are going to create uh, a normal uh, statement with this uh, method and uh, as we will see uh, then uh, there is another kind of statement that we can use that is uh, called prepared statement then with this code we are checking if the table exists or not in the database so we are getting the metadata of the connection and then cycling on the object of the connection to check if exists a table with this name if the table does not exist we can create the SQL query string here in SQL language and uh, we can see that uh, for the ID field uh, we are asking to the database to create to generate automatically the key then we execute the query with the execute update method of the uh, statement object we use execute update uh, for the execution or of all the SQL um, query um, that um, um, change values in the database such as insert uh, and update and so on or delete or for the um, uh, definition of the object finally we can close the statement object and the connection object okay that's all in the next video we will see how to execute this uh, method for the creation of the table when the JSF application will start. To do so uh, we will use the um, system uh, event listener class that is uh, one of the mechanism of a uh, JSF framework to manage the system events. Thank you for your attention. Bye.